Okay, in this video we are going to talk about how to use your calculator um, to work with matrices. So uh, I think the first thing everybody wants to know is how do I uh, input a matrix? So let's see. Uh, if you press the templates key, which is over here below delete next to the 9, the templates key, um, these four templates are matrices. So uh, this is probably the most common matrix right here, a 2 by 2, 2 rows, 2 columns. This has one row and two columns, and this has um, one column and two rows, so two rows and one column. And then this one appears to be three by three, but if you choose it, it actually gives you a wizard that lets you decide how many rows and columns you want. So say I want a two by two matrix. So I'm going to pick this, and uh, now I just type in some numbers. So uh, I'm making them up. All right, let's go with that. Three, four, nine, one. So row one is three, four, and then row two is nine, one. Column one is three, nine. Column two is four, one, just some terminology. Um, so I can multiply uh, by something. So let's say three times this matrix. And it just literally takes each element and multiplies by three. Um, I can add two matrices. So let's say I take uh, this one and then I'm gonna add to it, go back to the templates. You can only add or subtract matrices if they have the same dimensions. So a two by two, you can only add or subtract um, another two by two. So let's say 1, 5, negative 3, and 6. doesn't really matter. And there you go. We could subtract them, kind of obviously. Let's, uh, let's multiply by a constant, and then subtract this multiplied by a different constant. And we get that. So nothing too exciting there. So in the templates, um, this will just give you one row and two columns. It's not really that common, so I don't really know why that was one of the defaults, but um, this one is interesting. So this is the one that's going to bring up a template. So it's asking you how many rows, how many columns. This is actually really useful if you forget what rows and columns are. Just make these numbers different. So this is going to have five rows and three columns. And when I press enter, I get five rows. So one, two, three, four, five versus three columns. So one, two, three. So that can actually be really useful if you uh, suddenly freeze up and you can't remember what's a row and what's a column. Um, we can also, what else can we do here? We can, we can multiply two matrices. So matrix multiplication is a little weird. You gotta know what you're allowed to do, but you can definitely multiply a two by two matrix. So three, five, one, two, let's say. Uh, let's multiply that by, um, I don't know, four, one, three, five. So we get that, and then you can explore some properties. So if I multiply the matrix three five one two by the matrix four one three five, I get the matrix twenty seven twenty eight ten and eleven. Well, what if I reverse them? So uh, what would be the easiest way to do that? I have no idea. I'm going to paste that down. I'm going to subtract that. I'm going to go up, paste that, and then subtract that. So that rearranged them, right? So. Originally, um, 3512 was on the left. Now 3512 is on the right. Press enter. You actually get a different answer. So matrix multiplication is different from multiplication that you're used to. Um, and uh, I'll, multiply, I'll multiply one more pair and then uh, call this video done. Come back for some other stuff. Um, so let's see. Let's do, uh, let's do this. So this has one row and two columns. And so I can actually multiply that by anything that has uh, two rows. So let's go. It's kind of like the inner numbers need to be the same. So it's one row, two columns. So I need something with two rows and I don't know, let's say five columns. And then I'm going to have to enter some things. So to, I, I didn't actually mention this, but as you're moving through, you can just use the arrow keys. Or you can press tab to move to just the next thing. So... Uh, it's taking me a long time to make up these numbers. There, and if I press enter, I get a, a single row, and it has five columns. Um, so you can explore, and you can figure out some of the rules if you forget them. Uh, but anyway, that's a couple of things that you can do with matrices on your calculator. Uh, it's definitely something that comes up on the ACT every once in a while. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.